hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be using this steel aluminum frame to create a glass storage display cabinet some person call it a china cabinet now i'm going to show you a picture how it looked before i created it in this way so the client was basically using it over her toilet and it looked like this so what i did guys was to add two shelves at the bottom now stay with me guys and let me show you how I transform an old toilet organizer into a beautiful glass display cabinet. I got a welder to add two shelves at the bottom then I spray painted the entire frame with a silver metallic spray. I'm now using my E6000 glue to attach the aluminum strips at the sides the aluminum strips will be used for the mirror frames now I'm using the same E6000 glue to attach the aluminum strip to the other side of the frame and then I'm just gonna leave it to dry now that the aluminum strips has been dried I'm using the glue to attach the mirror to the frame Please note that I'm inserting the sides of the mirror inside the aluminum strips. I also spray painted the back of the mirror with the silver metallic spray paint. I cut my mirror into two pieces because I wanted the job to be easier. I'm now gluing my aluminum strip to the other edge of the mirror. Now that I've finished working on the other side, I have flipped the entire frame and I'm now working on the opposite side. So basically I'm just doing the same thing I did on the other side. I'm gluing the aluminum strips and then I'm gluing my mirror and attaching it to the frame. I'm now using some pieces of tapes to hold the strips in place then I'm going to add some weights on it and leave it overnight to be dried.
I'm now going to attach two pieces of board strips on either side of the frame so that I can hang my door on the strips. But before doing that, I'm taking my measurement after which I'll cut the board then spray paint it in silver. Now this is my perspex guys which I'll be using for the door. A perspex is like a solid transparent acrylic plastic which is often used in place of a glass. So the perspex came with a brown protective paper on it. Later on in the tutorial you will see how I remove the protective film. But at this point I'm measuring the strips with the board to ensure that the measurement is correct before I cut the strips. I'm now going to spray paint my strips using the same silver acrylic paint. I'm now drilling holes into the aluminum frame so that I can use my screws to attach the strips to the frame. I'm using some Gorilla Glue on the board strips before screwing down the strip on the frame. I'm now removing the protective film. You might not be able to see the glass properly because it's very clear. The perspex was a good choice because the client wants the item in the cabinet to be showing after it is done. I'm now attaching my inches to the perspex, after which I'll attach it to the wooden strip on the cabinet.
now this is the piece of mirror that i'll be using to attach to the back i'll be using a strong clear silicone to attach the piece of mirror to the back To give the door a nice clean finish, I'm using some aluminum strips to attach around the edges of the door. I'm now attaching two pieces of board on the cabinet, one at the top and one at the bottom. These pieces of board will be used as the door stopper. I'm now using my G clamp to hold these pieces of board boards in place because I don't want them to be dried properly. Now that the project has been completed, I'm cleaning silicone that has been spilt on the glass before it dries. I'm now using my E6000 to attach some bling wraps on the inches because it has been showing through the perspex. Later on, I'll put in the shelves and attach the knobs. So guys, if you have sticked with me thus far, you are here for the wow moment. Thank you so much guys for joining me on this DIY journey. If you have not subscribed, do remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Bye guys, see you at my next DIY video.